Now I haven't perfected this, but I think I'm getting really close. And I've been working on this for like my entire life. EDC. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt and this is Dwyer Creatives. Today, I wanna to go over what my EDC is. Now, if you don't know what EDC means, it means everyday carry. And depending on who you ask, it means different things. If you've been within the community for a long time, a lot of it has heavily, at least in my viewpoint, has heavily leaned towards like knife carry and gun carry and that sort of things. But I have definitely seen a shift over the years to be more inclusive and include a lot more things. Now, if you go to like the Instagram, you'll see these perfect layouts of everything that they are carrying. For me, I've been trying to perfect this and I'm nowhere near perfecting it. I definitely slimmed down my kit from way back here, say like 10 years ago when I would carry a lot. I'm still trying to evolve and figure out what my exact perfect carry would be if there even is one. So going to my EDC and what we're gonna be talking about today is gonna to be my on body. So this is stuff that I carry with me every single day and it's gonna be directly on my body. So not in a sling, not in a backpack, not having it stuffed in the truck. Uh, these are gonna be EDC that pertains to what I carry on myself. So let's just go ahead and dive into this. To get this started, of course, my first item is gonna be my phone and Sometimes I'll carry two, most of the time it'll be one, but if I am carrying, my main one's gonna be this one, which is an iPhone 12 Max Pro, and I've had it for a very long time, probably time to get it upgraded, but it's worked out great. Now the other phone that I've been using, and this is more on my work phone, so I don't always carry it, but I do carry it sometimes, is my Google Pixel 8. What this setup allows me to do is, um, if I'm creating content and I need to see how it works between two different systems, so you have Apple OS and then Android, I'm able to do that. So the next item that I always carry with me is gonna be a wallet. Now, I have tried a few different variants, and this is the current one that I'm using right now. I kinda really like this over like those slim card holders. Over time, they start to expand, they don't hold like the way they're supposed to. This, you have a main zipper, you can put the cards in there. You have a side zipper, throw cash, or I have my Aldi coin in there. This also has a little room right here to stick a tool or a pen, and same side on the back. This is made by Alpaca Gear, and this is the Zip Pouch Pro. For my keys, I have my keys broken into two separate categories. One are going to be my house keys and all the other keys, and the other is going to be the vehicle keys. Now, the reason I do this is because I don't want all of them on one thing, and for my car keys to be this big, heavy thing that's just jingling around when I'm driving. I do off-road here and there, so having something that has minimal things on it definitely helps me out. Starting with my car keys. On here, of course, I have my car keys. Now, what I use a lot are these little S-Beaners by Night Eyes, and these are the locking model. And the reason I use the locking model is because I've had the other ones and they have opened up, and I've gotten really close to losing some of these items. From there, I have this. This is a little flashlight made by Olight, and I absolutely love this thing. I actually throw it into my other bags. The reason I like this is A, because it's so compact, but B, it throws a decent light. And when I'm using this, usually I don't need something super powerful, like I'm walking to my car or from it, or maybe I'm just looking for something in my engine bay at night, or, you know, there's a lot of the little purposes that you use it for. I've had this for about two years, and I think I've charged it maybe once but it's one of those things that's super useful. And the base of this is magnetic, so if you need to attach it to something, you're able to do that. So again, uh, Olight Me 2, definitely pick one up. And then working my way down, I have this Gerber Shard. I've had this thing for years now. I think it's close to 10 years. And as you can see, it's not even the same color. Most of it is worn completely smooth. And it's just one of those things like if you really need something in a pinch, this will work. It's not the best, but again, if you need something, you don't have anything, something's better than nothing. And this has come in handy quite a few times. It has, of course, the pry tool and a bottle opener. And then it has a flathead and a, and then it has Phillips head on the other side. Making my way down, of course I have some paracord. It's more just to be able to grab my keys real quick. I have another s beaner that's locking, and then I have this little glow tritium at the end of it. This is made by Glow Rhino, and it's just something that in the pitch black or really dark scenarios that I can see this. Like say in the morning when I'm trying to leave for work and I'm digging around my drawer trying to find my keys, 
This right here shows me exactly where it is and I actually throw these on like my backpack. Just a nice little thing that you can just grab your tabs for. Now moving on to my regular keys. On here, I have another S Beaner. Sometimes I'll attach it, you know, there's that. Uh, th this is a, just a, like a regular key bar style one. Now on here, I have my, like my house keys, a few other keys for locks or this or that. And then also I keep a flash drive on here. And the reason I do this is when I was in school or when I was with work or just now for maybe I need to print a document here or there if I'm at the library or if I'm just trying to transfer something, it's nice to have something hard with you that you can just go ahead, throw it on there and not have to worry, do I have an internet connection? Will I be able to access my file? Or just accessing your files and having to open up, say, Google on a computer that's not yours, that you don't know that's secure, you can just go ahead and throw the basic files on here and that will allow you to not have to worry about maybe say like a keylog tracker on a public computer or something like that. This will just allow you to go ahead and print the document. Moving on from my keys, next things I carry on me are going to be items that I pretty much have, always have on me. Sometimes some of these switch out for one another. First thing is going to be right here. This has been my main workhorse for, I want to say at least five years now. I wear a watch almost every single day. I don't know if you can see, I have a slight tan lines from that. And my go-to watch is this one right here. This is the Range Master by G-Shock. It has a barometer on it, an altimeter, a compass. It does do a thermometer and this is the other basic tools. It is solar charging, so you never really have to worry about that battery going out. And I've used and abused this and it just keeps holding up. Now I do have a few other ones that I rotate into it, but this is my main watch that I wear. Before we move on, I do want to say that I'll have affiliate links below for a majority of these items. So if you do purchase items through that, they do help support the channel and there's no additional cost for you. So if you do use that, I greatly appreciate it. And let's move on to my next item. Next item that I pretty much always keep a variant of this. For me, my work knife is going to be this one right here. This is a fixed blade knife made by this company right here. And this is the Hunter model. Now, I've been using this as my work knife. As you can see, it has some nice wear and tear on it. I have sharpened it, you know, a dozen times now to keep that blade as sharp as I can. So the knife I was carrying before that, and I carry th this one sometimes on the weekends, just because this is always sharp. I only carry this for a specific purpose, and I had never had to use this for that, but this is gonna be more of like my self-defense knife. It's not big, but it is sharp, and it is a fixed blade. And the reason that I like fixed blades for this purpose is when you pull it, it's always gonna be ready. The less things that you have to do, the more likely you are going to be able to execute what you do. And of course, make sure that you do get training. You rise to your level of training and not to the occasion in most circumstances. So this is the CRKT Minimalist. Nice little blade, super sharp. And again, this is just an alternative fixed blade that I use to carrying that. This only has that one purpose. So I do want to mention two other knives that I may carry when I'm not at work. And the first one is going to be this one. This is a Benchmade bailout. It is a folder knife. It also is a first production one. And I love this knife. Super sharp. It stays pretty sharp. Has a good weight to it. it feels nice in the hand. It has a little glass breaker on the bottom. I have sent this one out to Benchmade for the life sharp warranty. The whole process didn't even take too long. So this would be one of my folders I really enjoy carrying. Another knife that I just got that would be, say, like a weekend carry is going to be this one right here. This is my first OTF and my first Microtech knife. Um, I had a buddy who had it and was selling it, picked it off off him. And I just want to say really love this. Haven't had it too long, but this is also another one that I will be carrying. And with all of this stuff, like I know that a lot of people buy this stuff to collect it. I buy it maybe to collect it, but everything I have, I'm going to use because why not? I mean, I bought it for that purpose. I'm going to use and abuse it. And when it comes to the end of its life, it's sad, but that's the whole purpose of all these items is that you have a purpose for it. It's there for that purpose. You use it for that purpose. This is the Microtech UTX 85 Bounty Hunter OTF. Now a few other things I may carry with me. I may have a pen. This is just a Lamy Safari pen. 
I like carrying the pen on me because you never know if you need to jot down anything. And usually what I do is I'll take a piece of paper, fold it up and keep it in my pocket. Or maybe I'll stuff like a piece of paper in my wallet just so you have a pen and paper with you. Say you're going somewhere where you can't carry a knife and you still want to have something that maybe could be used in that self-defense purpose. That's where these come into play. And that's one of those things that I feel better carrying. Will I ever use it? Probably not, but it's there if you do. Now, these are what they are. It looks like a Sharpie, a permanent marker, a Milwaukee pen, right? But these aren't. These all have hard tips on them. These are made by uh, Wick Actual. So definitely go check them out if you're interested in these. So these just would be an alternative to carrying a knife. So another item I may carry with me, but I don't always carry them, but depending on the day, is gonna be more like fidget tools. And this is one of them. It is made by this maker right here. What it is, is a panda. I believe this is titanium with a stone wash finish. It's held up great. It feels great. I mean, it could have alternative purposes, but it's a bottle opener. It has like a little hex tool right there. Just something to you know play with in your hands you're standing around and you just need something for your hands to do now one alternative to that that i do have are these boneheads and i absolutely love these because they're super light they're definitely fidgety because that's what i do with them all the time and maybe they have other purposes or something i don't know these are bonehead and they are made by this maker right here and they actually make a few different items so definitely go check them out i believe they may still have a few of these but usually they drop these ones as like mystery items as you can see here i've done a few little mystery bags and these are the colors that i've gotten so far so my last item is something that i don't always carry but i carry if i'm going to do content creation and that's going to be in here i don't carry the pouch with me but i do carry this little tool right here there's two ways to carry this you have one option on your keychain which i don't carry it like that ever but i do have that little piece right there and this is just a screwdriver and for me i have both a flathead and a phillips and the reason that i carry this is if i'm using say my tilta rig or just some of my other stuff that I use for my content creation that I may need a screwdriver for. I like using this because it is so small, it's easy to use. And then I can, you know, put double-sided bits or single-sided bits into here and I have something that allow me just to, you know, make those fine adjustments really quickly. So the tool is Wera, but it was modified by EDC Outlaw. So he does sell these and he actually does sell a few other items like i picked this mini wrench up from him it's just one of those things like when you need it it's nice to have the right tool for the right job the gruber shard can do it it's just for me it's easier to do it with an actual screwdriver because for this either i have to take it off and even still you know trying to do that or this it's a little bit clunky you can do this one-handed and again you know it is small compact lightweight and just one of those things that if you do use accessories it can come in handy hold on one second i do want to add this in right here make sure that you do check your local state and local laws to where you're living some of this stuff may not be legal there where it may be legal where i am just double check on that make sure that you're safe carrying any of the other like sharper items and some of the things that i carry down here are not legal up there so just double check what you are carrying on you and if that is legal. None of this is legal advice, but just make sure that you check up on it for yourself. So let me know down in the comment section what your EDC looks like. What are your core items that you have to have with you? Yeah, so I'm gonna wrap this up right here. As I said, question your comments, leave that in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.